Quick cash for your old iPod and why some bloggers are taking the day off tomorrow. KKL9's Rich DeMuro is here with tonight's look at everything tech. Why are they taking off tomorrow? Well, you know, this is a tight-knit community, so uh, this is a solidarity movement. Don't be surprised some of your favorite entertainment blogs aren't updated tomorrow. The bloggers are going on strike to support the Hollywood writers' strike. Seventeen entertainment blogs will replace their sites with statements about the strike. That means you won't be getting updates from Televisionary, Give Me My Remote, or Glowy Box. Some sites, like Ain't It Cool News, are linking to a petition in support of the strike. So far, they've collected just under 50,000 e-signatures. Now for the site, it will be working tomorrow. There's nothing more fun than a fancy new iPod. Until the battery goes dead, you crack the screen, or Apple comes out with that shiny new one. BuyMyBrokenIPod.com will make it all worth your while, I promise. The site lets you trade in your iPod for, or iPhone for cold, hard cash. Now, it doesn't have to be broken for them to buy it. It can still be working. You tell them what kind of iPod you have and the condition it's in. They'll give you an instant price quote. Then you ship the device to the Denver-based company, and within 24 hours, voila, you'll have your money via check or PayPal. Now, for the gadget, watching video clips on your computer is fun, but sometimes TV is just, you know, easier. The Sandus Sansa Take TV makes it a cinch to move your content to the big screen. The simple device lets you skip all those complicated setups. You just download video to your computer and drag it to the USB device. Then pop it out of your computer and plug it into your TV's input jacks. You can store up to five hours of video for about 100 bucks, and I promise it's very simple. If you've ever used a flash drive, you'll get the hang of it. Finally, the number 47%. That's how many people will re-gift this season. They're going to either re-gift it or resell stuff. This is stuff they get on their, uh, you know, they get as gifts that's not on their wish list. The annual survey is conducted on behalf of eBay, which, as you might guess, benefits from all these bad gifts. Now, you can find links to everything I mentioned here on our website, kcal9.com. I promise I won't send anything back. And uh, I think I'd rather sell a gift rather than, you know, re-gift it, because I feel guilty. I'm with you. <laughs> um, and by the way, you know, we've been asking people to help name our segment here. I got this yeah. one that was pretty funny. Inspector Gadget and make Rich wear the character's outfit. Oh, and make him know. wear the outfit, the Inspector Gadget outfit. <laughs> what did he wear? Did he have like a hat or something? Go-Go Gadget, right? Yeah, oh, no, thank you, folks, but you don't need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're continuing to take those suggestions at kcal9.com. All right. Thanks.